Whatever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a creepy Halloween redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Pizza Hut. Okay, let's go. Okay, to get started, I want to erase all the words on it. My idea is to make this logo look like it is wearing a sheet, like it dressed up as a ghost. So I went ahead and turned the background off so I can see what I'm working with. I'm just gonna go in and make it look like, almost like a sheet is draped over top of it. Just gonna go in and outline each side. And this is what we're working with. Now I wanna go in there and erase two holes for the eyes and add on some outlines in the black and an inner shadow like that. I want this to say Pizza Haunt in maybe a little bit of a creepier font. So I found this monster pack on Adobe Fonts and I think I wanna use this one called Mr. Darcy. All right, I'm gonna type that out. Here's the final result. I love this little ghost dude, but let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a spooky Halloween redesign. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Spotify! Okay, wait, I have an idea. Okay, so the first thing I think I wanna do is turn it orange because I'm thinking we turned this into a pumpkin. I'm gonna go in with this ink bleed pen and I'm just gonna go around it and try to kind of make it look like where the stem would be. And then we're gonna need this to go kind of like this for the bottom. Okay, here's what I have so far. I'm liking how it looks. I'm gonna add in a stem up here and add in some little vines coming off of it. I'm thinking it'd be cool to make these look like they're cut out from the pumpkin. I'm gonna add in these little lines back here that make it look like it's part of the pumpkin. And here is the final result. Even though their logo doesn't have words on it, I think in my head I wanna call this one Spookify. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Whatever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a Thanksgiving redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? <sighs> Pringles. Oh my gosh, wait, I have the perfect idea. Okay, so my brilliant idea is to call it Pilgrims instead of Pringles. So to start out, I wanna add an oval for the brim of the hat. And using the pen tool, I'm just gonna draw out the top of the top hat. Now I'm gonna bring in a little band for the hat and add a little buckle. Now for the letters, first and foremost, what I need to do is block out all of the white ones in red. Then I'm gonna take the letters I need in order. So I'm gonna take the I from here and mask it out. Then I'm gonna move it over and resize it so that we can make it be the right size for the rest of the logo. So I'm gonna do that for each of the letters and here is the final result. I love how this one came out. It definitely was one of the harder ones to figure out, but once it all came together, it looks so good. Let me know what you think in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Sprite. Ugh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to come up with something really creative for this one. Okay, I'm thinking for this one, we call it lights and we make this kind of outer border thing look like a bunch of Christmas lights. So to start, I'm gonna get rid of these extra letters here and I'm gonna move it to the middle. Okay, I've got it how I like it. Now I'm gonna add all these little green like lugs all around it. And then behind that layer, I'm gonna add these cute little lights. And with the airbrush tool, I'm gonna add slight highlights. So there's how one looks on it. Now I just need to add a bunch of little green plugs all around it. Then alternating colors, I'm gonna go behind each one with the Christmas lights. Now I just need to add that highlight to each of them and here is the final result. So cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a holiday redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? <sighs> Junior Mints. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think what we're gonna have to do is call it Orna Mints. So I'm gonna need to find a similar font to that and then I'm gonna try to recreate the little mints down here, the style, but with 
ornaments. Okay, so first what I need to do is get rid of the word junior. Okay, I found a similar font called Gotham Black. Now I'm just gonna type out Orna. And I'm gonna skew it to match how it looks in the original. I added a white stroke around it. Now I need to add a green one and make it a little smaller. Now I need to make some ornaments in the style of those mints. They've got these extra little layers in them to add depth, so I'm gonna do that with the ornament. Okay, I've got the first one made. I'm gonna move it right there. I added a second one, and now I'm just gonna add a shadow to it. I found this ornament topper online. I'm just gonna place it here, and here's the final result. This turned out so cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. <laughs> Whatever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a New Year's redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Starbucks. Okay, wait, this is perfect. Let's go. Okay, so my first thought for it is to turn the green part black and maybe make it look like she's wearing gold. So let's go ahead and do that. And I wanna make her crown and her dress be gold. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of her crown because my idea is to give her one of those New Year's Eve like top hats. So something like this. <laughs> And I wanna add a star to it. And I also wanna add in just these little like sparkles just cause I think everything is sparkly on New Year's. Lastly, I just wanna put on these little 2024 glasses and here it is all complete. I love how the Starbucks logo looks in these colors. I definitely think that they should rearrange the colors every now and then for different occasions and holidays. I also think it's just so cute her wearing the little glasses and celebrating. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a Valentine's redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? Ooh, MasterCard. Okay, let's go. So my initial thought is that card kind of sounds like heart. So I'm thinking I might make it say Master Heart. And then I'm thinking instead of circles, we change each of these to a heart. So I'm gonna type out heart. Then I just need to find a font that fits with the MasterCard font. Okay, I found one called Avenir. Then I'm gonna draw half of a heart using the pen tool. Now I'm gonna go and flip it horizontally and move that over here. Here. Then I'm gonna duplicate that and make it that light orange. Then I need to find where they meet. So I'm gonna down the opacity just to get that middle orange line. Finally, I'm gonna dye it the right color and here's the final result. This one is super simple, but honestly, I could see MasterCard or even other companies doing something like this where they change the circle in their logo to hearts. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. <laughs> logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a St. Patrick's Day redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh, apple. All right, let's go. Okay, looking at this, I'm already thinking maybe we do like a black cauldron, like a pot of gold with gold coming out of the top in the shape of the apple, and then maybe do a four leaf clover as this little stem. So the first thing I wanna do is just like do a rough outline of what I think that pot of gold could look like. Now I'm gonna color it black. And I do think I'm gonna add on two little handles over here. Now for the gold, I'm gonna go ahead and make the apple yellow, but then I'm gonna add little like more orangey toned pieces of gold. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking a little bit like Swiss cheese right now. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna add in some like little sparkles just to kind of give the hint of it kind of glimmering. Now I need to get rid of this leaf and replace it with that four leaf clover. I'm gonna finish that up and here's the final result. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments.
Whichever logo this lands on, I'm gonna give it a 4th of July redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh, DreamWorks. Okay, let's go. So my idea is to change this to say fireworks in the same font. And then instead of him holding a fishing pole, I want him to hold a sparkler. And then maybe this kind of swoopy design can be a firework bursting at the top. So the first step is gonna be to erase some of these letters in here. Then I moved over the R and the E and erased some of the D so I can turn that into an F. Now I'm gonna move that R and E back over here and selecting just a tiny bit of this R, I can make an I out of it. Now I'm just gonna select all of that word fire and drag it right over to the works. Next, I'm just gonna erase some of his fishing pole and add on a bunch of lines coming off of it so it looks like a sparkler. Now I wanna do the same thing with the top of this moon. I wanna add in some little stars and dots and here's the final result. I just love this one. It's just exploding with motion. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Thank you.